Hi guys, this is Pestilian. Welcome to another Skate from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering the woods map. Uh, it's with the new expansion. I'm going to cover all the extracts, spawns, where to worry about things, where some of the new loot stuff is, and just give you an overall good knowledge base so you can uh, navigate throughout the map, get your quest done, and hopefully uh, not run into too many issues with landmines and stuff like that, and be able to get through this map successfully. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So from here, I want to give you a bit of an overview of the layout of the map. I am literally bang uh, dead center of the actual whole woods map now. Uh, and this is on top of Sniper Rock in the middle. Um, if you reference the lumber mill here, this is probably like the main point where you need to like have as a reference point for where things are going. So use the, the big stone mountain in the middle. And then from there, you can go, all right, lumber mill. And you should be able to figure out where you are. There's a big lake on this side. And then there's a lot of small lakes on this side. And then a river going down uh, the, I think it's like the north side. Yeah, that's the north side over there. So you've got the river over that side. So as soon as you spawn in, check your bearing and figure out where exactly you are on the map. And uh, and you can go from there. Now, um, on the other side of the lumber mill, this area right here, this is the outskirts. And then um, moving over to this side here, uh, you've got the USEC stash on this side. And then down to the back here is where you have like the sunken village. Now, from uh, the left-hand side, as we look at the lumber mill down to this side, this is where you've got your uh, RUAF extract on this side. Sorry, RUAF extract on this side and then the UN roadblock extract on that side. If you look through this side, you can see a town. Uh, you can kind of see the roofs of the town there. Um, that's like the village area. And uh, in that area, you have uh, the northern roadblock and also the uh, bridge car extract. So the bridge car extract on... In that direction over there, and you need 3,000 rubles to take that extract. Now, there used to be a red rebel extract directly below here. That is now gone. Um, and I would highly suggest, if you're going into woods, take 3,000 rubles. All right? That bridge extract is going to save you a lot of time, save get you a heap of good loot out. Fucking worth it. All right? So um, let's go from here. All right, so we are now teleported across to the UN roadblock side. Um, if you look at the reference of the power plant, this is how you're going to know which side of the map you are on. Uh, if you spawn over here, you want to be looking for these power plant um, signs. If you do see that, that means you're on the UN roadblock sign. And um, I'm, I've got my extracts on the other side of the map, which is over here. And we'll talk about that later. But um, you've got UN roadblock on the end of this road. There's a road along here. I'll have a little video pop up of uh, that extract right there. Um, you've got the UN roadblock on this side right there. And then down the road towards the other direction, you've got the IUAF extract. There is a um, metal like door in the middle, which is called the factory gate. Um, you can use this from any spawn. It, it requires you to take a, uh, a, a random scav, play scav, to go out of it. I've never seen anyone use it, never been able to use it myself. Um, and it's, yeah, good luck with that one. Um, so yeah, the, the IUAF extract will have to have either a green flare or, or uh, a green light on or smoke there to be able to take that extract if you do have that one up. Uh, and this is if you're spawning on the outskirts side of the map. This is a new addition here, this uh, compound FOB. Absolutely gold place. I'm going to go through it quickly, um, but I'll, I'll talk about it as I'm running over there. The IO, uh, sorry, this compound has um, stuff like uh, a, there's at least one container, storage container for, for the rations, technical spawns, and also meds, as well as there's med bags, uh, duffel bags, Pretty much everything that you want to loot is there. So technical spawns are, are, are ripened, ripened, riped in this area. And it's definitely worth, if you spawn on this side of the map, coming over here. Now, I've nearly ran into a PMC or a scav here every time. So, like, for example, you've got a tech, tech crate here. You've got a duffel, a duffel bag there, med bag there. This one's the med crate, if I remember rightly. And then this one's the ration crate. And then inside here, you can have med spawns on top of all this stuff. Another med bag there. Uh, med spawns on those shelves. Weapon crate there. M more med spawns inside here. And then I think there's another ration crate over here as well. With uh, a heap of other spawns. Might be ration and attack. Oh, it's just the medical. This one's a ration, I'm pretty sure. That's the ration one. Um, duffel bag. And then you'll actually just find a heap of loose spawns. Um, like f Mostly food here. But this is golden early wipe. Um, and, and, and just in general, you're trying to get some uh, food and med supplies. Really good. Uh, definitely take advantage of this FOB. I'll give you a better picture of the uh, RUAF one. extract. See the green smoke running through there? That is the uh, RUAF track right there. 
All right, so I am now at UN Roadblock, and I actually want to show you um, the pathing on the uh, eastern side of the map to help give you an understanding of uh, what's going on with the new expansion, because it's actually a little bit disorientating if you're new, and also if you're just new to the game as well, uh, not just new to the actual expansion. So UN Roadblock is actually a common spawn, and you will spawn a lot along this side of this map. There's a big uh, red, I don't know what you call it, train station um, building here. It's not really a train station. There's a train station next to it. But anyway, there's a uh, red building here. We're going to run straight past that. If you're after scavs, it's actually a pretty good spot right here to kill scavs. And um, so all these rocks just inside here. Now up ahead, uh, we're going to be heading towards... So scavs will spawn all along these rocks around here, uh, particularly later in the game. So if you're really keen on killing scavs to get your quest done, you can hide for, say, 10, 15 minutes, come around this area, and generally you start having scavs spawn in. Now, it can be a little bit tricky by referencing um, that this area with these like open area rock. Um, you cut through here and you'll find the uh, ZB016 bunker. I'm going to make myself look like a fool and not be able to find it. Ah, here. Sorry. ZB016. So, yeah. Open area. There's the, the red red uh, building there. Open area is rocks and you cut a little bit into the side here. Now, this is an extract if you spawn on the outskirts side. We spawn on the uh, on the um, UN side, so that way we don't have that. Now, there's tech spawns on the ground here. This stuff like uh, air filters and all that are really good um, money, particularly later on. And then there's this bunker here. So, this is one of the extracts too, um, and it's worth taking note of it because you, it will save your life because you don't need a key to get out of it, and it's, uh, just a, a, it's a good one to get out when you're uh, under a bit of pressure. Now, going back outside... There is a plane crash inside there, and there's a quest requirement uh, near that plane crash for the first Jaeger quest. Um, but generally, you don't really need to push through that bush area. There's nothing really much to ex explore and find, um, but it's just good to know about it. So, um, yeah, that's the direction of the plane crash. And if you see that, you kind of you should know where you are based off the, uh, the plane crash. Prominent features like that are really helpful for uh, trying to figure out where the hell you are. Now, down here, this is Northern Roadblock. Um, so this is another one of those extracts that is one of the new ones, um, but it's only available if you spawn on one side of the map. So, uh, there is a hidden stash somewhere around here. There it is. And there's also, um, the weapon crate, but, uh, just so you know, hidden stashes, I'm not going to show them all on this one. I've, I'm actually nearly finished making a guide for that. So you'll have the full complete every hidden stash for the new, uh, woods. But what I want to do show you now is, uh, how you run along this road and... This is where the goodies start. Like this map is is very rapidly becoming one of my like top three maps. But don't tell anyone that because in the past I absolutely hated woods. Um, so these houses, I'm not going to go through them all because there's just so much to show. But these houses, each side, um, filled with loot. Um, I'll just give you a very brief example. So you, you've got these uh these big containers here. I think this one's a tech tech supply one. You go up the top. And then there's uh, weapon crates, and there's other loose spawns in that, and there's another uh, supply crate there. So it's just, it's just, they're, they're, they're uh, it's really good how they've actually put a fair bit of loot on this map. Now, reference points, you should always keep an eye out. This big rock in the middle, that's your center of the map. And then, uh, I guess, depending on where you are in the map, um, this giant rock in the distance is somewhat towards the north, uh, and it just gives you a reference point on where, you, where to run to. So, uh, if you go from this village, uh, this town, oh, sorry, the uh, the couple houses down there and the uh, the northern roadblock and run straight down this line, uh, you'll come down to this village. Now, with this village, um, I generally run into more players here than Lover Mill now, but it's just because it's got such good loot. Um, it's like lo lots of random spawns, but there's just so many of them. So food at the moment is very expensive on the flea market, um, but also like all your tech supplies. And each of these buildings will have that stuff. So um, keep an eye out for that. If you want to come down here. But this is... I, I, I'm dreading saying this because I love this extract so much. This is my favorite extract of the map right now. So you come down here. And for 3,000 rubles, you can take this bridge cart extract. Now, it is always there until someone uses it. Do not go any further than this line or you'll get shot by a sniper scav. You pay 3,000 rubles, you hide behind the sign, you wait, I think it's like 45 to 60 seconds, and you extract the map. It's always there, 3,000 rubles, and you can loot all this area, or you, when we get to it, there's other areas over here. You literally come to this side of the map, you do some looting, you hit there, you get out, and it's super safe. 
The, the most dangerous part is probably the run across the open field. But yeah. Also, if you're after killing scavs later in the raid, um, I've found six, seven scavs spawn in this area all at one, all the one time. So, yeah. All right, so we're just going to pretty much be hugging along this uh, river to our right now uh, and running up along the northern side of the map. So we've got the uh, the big mountain in the distance. Uh, that's that's our uh, our north north point, and um, we're going to be running along now. It's probably just easier for me to explain it like this because of, uh, it's just, it's just a very simple way of being able to show you, but you need to try and remember these major landmarks being stuff like the Northern Point, the center, the power station, um, the plane crash, because otherwise when you spawn in, you're trying to figure out where you are, you'll get lost very quickly and you'll run into landmines. Uh, the amount of people that like, it makes me chuckle, actually makes me chuckle at the moment. Now you can take the uh, the road up to the left here, uh, and that there is some like some crates, uh, like some supply crates and some duffel bags along that, and that will go through the uh, like the little rocky mountain crop um, through this middle bit all the way up to the center of the map. Um, but we're just going to keep running along the road here until we get to uh, until we get to the uh, village. All right, so from that rocky outcrop, that the, the gap in the road, um, we can take up that path and go all the way towards the center of the map. Um, but what we want to do is we want to turn right here and we're going to go towards the, um, the village. Now there is heaps of loot through here. Um, all your, all your, your technical spawns, food, weapon crates, all that can be found here. Generally with scavs, I haven't really found them early on. Um, but I have found them, uh, over time to be spawning in here. Usually you get one or two early. Now pretty much... Um, half of the buildings you can't go inside, and the, the other half you can. And, uh, it's just a matter of figuring out which ones you can go into. You can get onto, like, into the top bits of the church there and, and stuff like that. And, uh, all through these other houses and that. So just explore and have fun with it. Um, part of Tarkov's enjoyment is coming from the explore, exploration to finding wh where stuff is. Um, so for this guide, I'll just show you how to get around the map and what's going on with everything. Um, but yeah, it's not as important as to, uh... Well, this guide's not about showing you every single loot spawn. There will be two guides coming out. One will be uh, for all the hidden stashes, and one will be a complete loot, like, loot locations of the map. And then uh, we'll do a loot run as well. So there's, there's, there's a lot going on with this map at the moment. So I'll try and get those videos out as soon as possible. So this bridge here, this is a scav extract called Usec. Uh, sorry, scav, scav bridge. Um, so if you're after that, you can go for it. Um, as a scav run, but I don't really scav run woods. Maybe it's worthwhile now. Um, probably if you go out towards the sniper scavs, it'll be worthwhile. We're going to cut up this way. Um, there are some spawns along here and some little huts and stuff that you can loot. It's definitely worth checking out all these uh, ones. Uh, milk crates, tech spawns, and uh, all of these supply crates, like ration supplies and stuff. So be sure to check inside here. Every time there's a bed, you want to be looking for uh, gold chains and stuff. Just, just understand that. Like, the amount of times that I, uh, I see one of those sleeping bags stuff, and I, I look on the ground, underneath these stretches and stuff, be looking for like gold chains and uh, at the moment there's the Christmas balls. Now over by the, um, the pylon here, there is an underground bunker, and it's actually pretty cool. So, you go. There are crates on st on the top, if I remember rightly. Um, so you got your weapon crates and stuff. Oh shit. We're coming down into this bunker. Uh, duffel bag. Now you're looking on in the server racks for like relays and stuff on the ground. Uh, and then there's more stuff along here. Obviously you've got the uh, toolbox there. And then uh, same again. You're looking for gold chains and stuff. Sometimes rollers and stuff. Yeah. Underneath the bed and around the beds and stuff. Can be uh, really profitable for you. So nice little bunker here. What we're going to do is we're going to head towards the uh, USEC camp from here. And hopefully I don't stuff it up. So, um, do, 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 roads this way. Yeah, we're going to come through here, through the swamps, and then we want to go um, past the convoy, and there'll be a slight turn to the right. I just love the fact that BSG has gone to the effort of like putting just like loose like supply crates around. So there's a technical one, and it just makes it so that the the loot's not just all locked into one spot. Alright, so from the convoy, we're taking a slight right. 
This is very contested, this USAC camp, just because there's so much stuff there. And uh, just be careful about when you do spawn in here. Um, there, there's gen general people running straight towards here. And there's also some loose landmines around the actual camp. So, so yeah, as you come up here, you'll literally just see all the loot. Um, it's it's all over the shop. So explore every, every nook and cranny. Get all the loot you can. Um, all the supply crates and stuff are up here. It's pretty much broken up into like two sections as well. So I'm normally coming from the other side. So it's it's a little bit more different for me. But it should be just on the other side of like this ridge bit. It looks silly if it's not. There we go. And there's another heap of stuff over here. So yeah, um, heaps of loot. Like I said, check uh, check down the back here. See how there's like all the horses there? It can also be stuff like uh, gold chains and stuff. Now, if you go down the hill here, uh, which side is this? I'm pretty sure this is the west. Yeah, so you don't want to go down here. This is landmine territory. It's 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 scary. Could it just stay stay away from that side of the thing? Um, there is like you know more specifically spots that you can't go to, but just for now, just avoid it. Um, it's not the safest place to be. Now, this is the main road um, heading down towards uh, ZB014 and stuff. But what I want to do is I want to cut across here. And I want to show you... Just to give you bearings. So this is the middle of the map again. So we're pretty much on a big lap around that rock now. We're on the western side of that rock. Um, there's not a lot of stuff to worry about in this side of, like, side of the map. Um, but it's, it's just good to know your way around it. So going offline mode and explore this side, um, it will come in handy. So we're about to go what I call the... Uh, well, actually, I'll go to Dickhead Rock, Rock first. Now, something I forgot to say as well is um, the sunken village where the church is all sunken into the ground and stuff. That also does have a um, the scab boss that can spawn there. And the other spawn for the scab boss is uh, in the lumber mill here. So a lot of people call this Dickhead Rock. It's because you stand out so much like a dickhead on, on here. Um, really clear day. This would be a perfect day for sniping. But um, lumber mills here. Now, I don't want to go through it because it's, it's pretty easy. I can show you everything from here. Three cabins right there. One of them has a safe in the middle. Um, there's about five jackets and there's beds with uh, a heap of food spawns. Um, down the end, there's a, a hut there that's got a filing cabinet, two jackets, and a, a duffel bag. Violet key card spawns on the table inside there. And then there's a car uh, down here. And then with the uh, tray down on the back of the car, uh, in the, the boot of the car, the rear of the car, trunk of the car, you can actually get a vault key card spawn in there. And then there's some uh, technical spawns and a weapon crate or two inside that building there. Scav boss, you can spawn all the way up along the top ridge line up here, all the way down the bottom uh, in those bushes down the far end. But the most common spawn you're going to have is this warehouse here, just on the other side between the warehouse and this wood stacks um, right there. Scav boss has two minions. Watch out for them. They do hurt. They have SVDs. SKS is with BP ammo. Now, I don't know if they have removed it for this uh, for this expansion, but in the previous expansion, uh, reference this, um, like, I know, nook and granny in there. You can actually look on the ground here and you'll find stacks of loose ammo. And if that loose ammo was there, the scab boss is up. Um, it, when you have a high level perception skill, you'll actually be able to find it a lot easier. But um, full stacks of ammo and it's, it's like expensive ammo too. Whatever ammo it spawns there is what the scab boss is using. So, just so you know. All right. For this side, there is the, uh, we call, I call this like med checkpoint, but I don't know the actual name for it. Um, and the whole reason it was called med checkpoint is back in the day, this is one of the first med bags in the game. So, med bag here. And then um, there's a, oh, sorry. There's a violet key card spawn right there on the seat. Or on the floor. It's one of the two. There's actually a, a key spawn there. In the fire cabinet. But there's not really much else other purpose for that. They've changed the mark circle a little bit. There's a mark circle up here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's just a little bit more secluded now. So the mark circle is here. Uh, GP coin. Make sure you check all the way around the edges of it too. Generally it does spawn in the middle. And the jacket there. Now coming through here. Um, we used to call this one Silencer Shack. I don't know what they call it these days, but I call it Silencer Shack. 
It's just a little shack with a uh, dead scav body laying down next to it. There's a shack there. And uh, there's dead scav next to the tree. Uh, and you usually have one or two scav spawns there. As for this side of the map, um, this is uh, outskirts. This is where uh, my extract is for, for this spawn in. Um, outskirts is pretty much you follow the road down the center. You'll see a... a a utility vehicle or a ute we call them in australia uh, down the end and you just got to be standing near that ute up there to extract scav house pretty common name for that one and this has scav spawn all the way along uh the western side of this road and sometimes down by the the rocks down here um there are a lot of spawns along this side here too for players so just be wary of that the last thing i want to show you guys is the zb014 um should be just over here. Unless I've... Yep, sorry, went a little bit too far. We're just on the other side of these rocks here. And if there's green smoke, you can extract from here. Otherwise, you will need the ZB014 key. Um, or you still need the ZB014 key to open it up. Now, in the past, this was a great spot to get uh, 60 round mags. 545, 60 round mags. They were really good. And then this, this patch, they kind of removed them. So, I don't know why they, they did that, but... Um, yeah, down here you can, you can generally get 60 round mags on the floor. If there's green smoke, you can extract from here. And that, um, my friends, is pretty much a full lap and explanation of everything around this map. Um, and hopefully that has been helpful in you at least understanding the navigation around the map. We pretty much just hug the external perimeter. Um, and if you are in trouble and just, and, and geographically embarrassed, um, look for those major points. So... It's th this one, the scav house should be pretty obvious um, once you like see it, um, that you'll know it's a scav house. It's a big major road, you know, it's a very open field and the scav house. Uh, if you look out that way, you'll see the power station and there'll be the, the big giant lake. And then you'll look at, you'll see the big rock in the middle. Um, as for the uh, spawning on the other side, you're looking for that giant mountain in the distance to the north. Uh, and once you do have the Jaeger quest unlocked where you, you uh, have the, the compass, you can use the compass as a bit of a bearing, like, help you get a bit of a bearing. But you want to look for these ge geographical locations. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a couple of extra things. Um, I want to show you the exact location of the Mark Circle in the in the Sunken Village. And also how to get up on top of the Sniper Rock in the middle. Because that will be very helpful for you. Alright, so reference from the, uh, the bottom of the big hill. Or the big rock. You want to come inside here and you'll see, like, these fallen rocks here. And you pretty much just run and jump up this spot here. And you can run all the way up there. And there's a bunker up there too, which you can get some, some cool spawns. Alternatively, um, you can run around the side here. And there is also this bed. There's some loot here. And uh, if you... I know it looks ridiculous. But if you run up the other side of this rock, there's actually a, a way down. Um, you just got to go along that bit there. And then you, you hug the wall and you kind of come down that little crack there. It's, it's not too difficult. Um, it's just you sort of know where, where exactly to come down. And uh, that can get you up top of the sniper rock. So yeah, it's very simple. You just keep running up here. You jump up all these. And then once you're up here, you go down to the bunker. You've got yourself the... Uh, I've really only found like horses and gold chains. No, nothing, anything extra. Um, Christmas baubles, but they're probably going to finish soon. You don't even need to uh, sprint, jump or anything to get up on top of the, uh, the very top here. Just walk along this uh, edge bits here. And then take a left and you're up. If you want to get on top of that one there, you need to go from there, jump across there, jump up there, go across there and then jump across there. Um, and easy sniper rifle every time you come up here because the sniper scav will be there. All right, so for the other mark circle now, um, I haven't found anything good here yet. Maybe gold chain or two, but nothing, anything crazy. Same with the other one. You don't really get anything mind-blowing there but in the sunken village road going down the straight down the center you got the uh the church right there you just want to run directly towards the uh the big big mountain thing and bam it's that simple um check make sure you check the entirety you might find something cool like along the edge maybe a roller or something but still haven't found anything too ridiculous but you do need to place a marker here for cult uh the cult part two which is peacekeeper quest so good to know where this one is um for people that are after that one so yeah. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys learned a lot from it. There's going to be more guides coming out. I'm going to be doing a loot run. 
a stash guide and also um, the full loot of the actual entire map breakdown. So there is three more videos to come to this map, but this is to give you an, a good understanding of how to get around the map, where the good stuff is, what to look out for, the spawns, the extracts, and all that good stuff. So hopefully you enjoy, guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did enjoy it, like it, comment just what you know you learned from it or something you might want to uh, see more of or any guides in the future because uh, that kind of impressions on a video really does help, help out with discoverability. If someone's new to Tarkov, send them my uh, new player playlist. That would really help out as well. I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me. Um, usual drill. Uh, like, comment, no, sub, notification bell if you want to know when the information is coming out directly. Raid series is about to start. If you're new to uh, Tarkov, it's a full playthrough that I do on an account entirely offline or off, off stream uh, where it's uh, in-depth editing with trying to make it as informative as possible for you guys. So hopefully you guys are excited for season three of that. Um, besides that, guys, lastly, I'll see you next time.